This is the isolation levels module of SQL Server, and in this video, we'll talk about the isolation level serialization. Serialization and snapshot isolation levels are both are same. Both are solving the concurrency problems, but the internal structure is different. Serialization implementing the logs to solve the isolation uh, concurrency problems, while snapshot is using the row versioning to solve the concurrency problems. So serialization is most expensive isolation level. It will affect the performance of our uh, queries. So we have uh, we have to be very careful for using this isolation level. And uh, while implementing the serialization problem, the uh, concurrency problems of Phantom, which is coming in the repeatable read, we can solve this uh, Phantom uh, read problem by implementing the serialization. A serializable isolation level. So first we will see the serialization isolation level and the phantom reads problem. And uh, this is the examples to see the phantom read uh, uh, concurrency problem which is coming when we are using the isolation level repeatable read. And uh, the user have executed the, uh, started the transaction and in this transaction user is uh, uh, accessing the value user is retrieving the value of the sales from the sales table for salesman code 4 so when the user will generate this query will execute this query it will return the value 1300 for the invoice uh, this one and this invoice belongs to salesman code 4 and then the there is this transaction is still going on there is some delay and during this delay another user will insert the uh, records in the same table for the same salesman uh, code 4. It will in, insert the new invoice with the value 1500 while the first transaction is still going on. And the, the, this uh, transaction, first transaction has two select queries uh, for the same select queries but during this, between these two select queries the delay is coming and during this delay the another user inserts the value so now the phantom reads will read the different results for the same query so then in the first transaction when this will be completed the plus first select statement have this uh, result and the second select statement in the same transaction has different results so this is the phantom read if we are using the repeatable read, it's it's giving the problem of phantom read. It's not solving the problem of phantom read. To solve the phantom read problem, we will change the isolation level to serializable, serializable or snapshot. And uh, then the same query, the first users executed the first query uh, for the salesman for, uh, code four. You, uh, the result is 1300 for the salesman invoices and uh, the first uh, transaction is still going on but this during this transaction and other salesman inserted the uh, records for the same salesman for uh, the other uh, users inserted another invoice and uh, then the this problem uh, for the phantom, if we are using the serializable, will not come because when the second user trying to insert the value, this query will wait for the this transaction to be completed. When this transaction will be completed, then only this insert will be happened. So the results of both these select statements will be the same because this transaction, until it will not be completed, the second user cannot insert the values cannot insert the new records uh, during this transaction so the by implementing the serializable isolation level or the uh, snapshot isolation levels we can solve the problem of phantom reads so let's move to the sql server management studio to implement this scenario there this is the SQL Server Management Studio and here we will see the demo for the Phantom Reads and then we will see how to solve this Phantom Reads. This is our example database, TradingDB and uh, we have first we will uh, implement the isolation level repeatable read which have the concurrency problem of Phantom Reads. The, the now our uh, 
concurrency oscillation level is repeatable rate so the first user will execute this transaction the transaction have uh, two operations there are two statement in this transaction the two there are two same select queries uh, for in this transaction but there between these two select queries there is some delay and during this delay another user will insert the uh, records for the same salesman which we are going to access here so let's execute the first transaction the first transaction is going on and the and, and during this first transaction is going on and other salesman have inserted the value another user inserted the value and now let's see the what is the result so these two select statements when this transaction is completed have different results first select statement have only one records for this salesman while the second select statements have two records for the same salesman so how this this is known as the phantom reads because when the first select sales uh, select statement is executed that time the salesman have only one uh, record and before executing the second select statement the another user inserted the in a new invoice for the same salesman which we are accessing here so then the, the that records are changed for these two same select statement this is the phantom reads which is coming when we are using the isolation level repeatable read are read committed are read uncommitted all have this phantom read problems so how to solve we will change the isolation level from repeatable read to serializable serializable will solve the phantom read problem but it will affect the performance because it will very costly it will implement the more locks and which will uh, affect the performance of the queries so we have to be very careful while choosing the isolation level we can solve by implementing the serializable isolation level or we can use the snapshot isolation level to solve the phantom read problems so now we have to use the snap the isolation level serialize label and then we will see the effects so i implemented the isolation level serializable and there is some problem let's see the spellings were wrong so now i'm going to implement the serializable isolation level and uh, this transaction will be started and there are two select statements and during this transaction the another uh, user trying to insert the value but it will wait it's still busy it's still executing until the first transaction will not be completed when this is completed now the other transaction will insert the row so the both statement will give the same results so both select statements are now giving the same result and even the, the because this statement is executed after when this transaction will be completed so that is why the both statements both select statement have the same result uh, although there is a new record is inserted so this is the phantom reads problem which can be solved by implementing the serializable isolation level or snapshot isolation level